Hello and welcome to today's video. Here's a sneak peek of the project we're making today. It's a birthday card uh, featuring a hummingbird layering stamp as well as a sunburst layered stencil background. My name's Nicole and I'm new here to YouTube. Just want to let you know that you can find more information in the description box below regarding this project as well as a link to my website craftedbynicoleleblanc.com where you can find more photos and crafty inspiration. So for today's card project, I'm going to start by doing the stamping first. Um, this stamp set that we're using today is from Hero Arts and it's called Color Layering Hummingbird. I'm absolutely in love with this stamp set. Um, it includes a hummingbird image that you can create a beautiful, colorful, detailed image using four different stamps that you layer up together. So um, I've gone ahead here and added my first uh, stamped image or my first stamp, sorry, to the Misty Door and stamped that in black using some of my favorite things, hybrid licorice ink. Because I'm using my Misty tool today, I did go ahead and double stamp that just to get a nice crisp, dark impression. Honestly, you don't need a Misty for this stamp set or for this project. Um, if you have one, it will definitely help you. Or in my case today, because I wanted to make some multiples of these hummingbirds, um, just having a stamp positioning tool does make the whole process move a little bit quicker. Um, but these stamped images, honestly, they line up so easy that a positioning tool like this is not a necessity for this project. So um, just moving on to layer number two for this hummingbird. Going to stamp this one using some Ocean Breeze ink from Pink Fresh Studios. Just inking that up there using a mini ink cube. Going to close the door closed and you can see how beautiful this image is already starting to look. Um, so here you can also see sort of the magic of the Misty. You know, once that stamp's positioned, we can just rotate that cardstock and the ink is, or sorry, the stamp is perfectly aligned to the image. So, um, you know, if you wanted to do just one off of this card or one off of this image, certainly a Misty not required, but if you're doing multiples, definitely I would recommend to pull out your stamp positioning tool. So next up, we're going to move on to layer three of the Hummingbird stamp set. Um, this one here, I'm just going to stamp in a darker color of that sort of pool blue ink. Uh, this color is Aquamarine from Pink Fresh Studios. And so once I have that stamp lined up, once again, inking that up on the door and swinging the door closed. Just going to speed up this video here a little bit because the process is exactly the same. Just literally doing the exact same thing as I rotate and stamp through these hummingbirds. So there is a fourth layer to this uh, stamp set. It colors the triangular throat portion on the hummingbird. Um, for the sake of, honestly, for the sake of ease today, I just went ahead and stamped those out using an acrylic block using some soft lilac ink there. My next step here, I'm just going to go ahead and trim out these hummingbirds. I did go ahead and cut them out by hand. I should note that there is a coordinating die available for this stamp set. I just didn't purchase it, so that's why I went ahead and cut that out by hand today. So for the sentiment on the card uh, project today, I decided I wanted to do some white heat embossing on black cardstock. So you can see here that I have just a piece of black cardstock in my Misty tool. I've already treated that with an anti-static powder bag. That's where you can see that white kind of powder sitting on the bottom of my cardstock. And I went ahead and stamped up the sentiment, happy birthday to you, using some Versamark uh, ink. And then I'm going to emboss using this Brutus Monroe uh, embossing powder in alabaster white. Just going to tap off any excess there. You can see that I'm just catching the excess uh, embossing powder here in a piece of paper. And I'm just going to funnel that back into the jar to use for uh, future projects. And then off to the side here, I should mention as well that I already have my heat gun warming up. And in a moment here, I'll move my heat gun over to my project to start melting that embossing powder. Um, really happy with this Brutus Monroe embossing powder. It's pretty new to me. I've only had it the last month or so, but I've been pretty impressed with the results so far. And I'll let you know as time goes on if I'm still happy about it or if I can recommend it to others. But honestly, at this point, it looks like a win. 
So for the next phase um, here, I'm just going to go ahead and trim down that uh, sentiments uh, here. I'm using just a guillotine, you know, swing arm paper trimmer. You could really use any kind of paper trimmer here for this. Um, it doesn't matter if you, you know what kind of paper trimmer you have. Um, just carefully looking to make sure I have the spacing right below and above the happy birthday sentiment. And then I'm going to go ahead and trim that out. So now I'm going to start the background portion of my card. So you can see here I have my Pink Fresh Studios uh, layered sunburst stencils here um, that I'm going to set on the side. There are three of them. Um, I should mention that when I'm doing the demo portion here in this card, I only am going to use layers one and two of the stencil. Um, but for some of the cards um, posted on my blog, I did use all three layers of that stencil. You know, really you could use one, two, or three layers of the stencil. Just because a layering stencil comes in a three pack does not mean that you have to use them all. Um, you know, be cra crafty, be creative, and choose whatever you'd like. Um, for this um, layered stencil today, I didn't want to um, create mud with my colors. Um, I am using the same three colors that I stamped on the hummingbird earlier. So I was a little concerned about overlapping the, uh, the green and the purple together. So that's why I have gone ahead and used just some painter's tape to very quickly mask off sort of different thirds of this sunburst stencil. And I'm just going to ink on these using these uh, Catherine Pooler and Gina K blending brushes and sort of just lightly ink through the stencil there to create this beautiful stenciled background. So every time I layer those masks on using the masking tape, I'm just kind of making sure that I keep the blue in the same kind of area, the purple in the same kind of area, and the greenish color in the same kind of area. So now that my background is complete, I should note that off screen, I did trim that down a little bit. The new background size, I believe is four inches by five and a quarter. I did evenly trim down both sides of the card, but I did only trim off the top portion of the image. And that's because I wanted to move that focal point up just a little bit on my card. Um, you'll see in a moment that I'm putting the hummingbird where, right where that focal image, is, where that focus is on the panel and the sentiment below. So I didn't want it to look too kind of clustered near the bottom of my card. So that's why I tried to move that um, focal point just up just a little bit. Um, all of these different layers today, I'm just adhering using uh, foam tape. So the card base I adhere, or the card panel I adhered using foam tape, the hummingbird using foam tape, as well as the sentiment here. And I just pulled out my T-square ruler as well, just to make sure that I have that sentiment on nice and straight. So as far as this card project goes, you know, we're almost done at this point. Just going to go ahead, score my card using that Teflon bone folder, and then I'm going to just do a little bit of embellishing. Um, in terms of embellishments today, I did pull out some Hero Hues gems. Um, these are an adhesive backed uh, gem. I don't believe they're currently available anymore. I did pull them out of my stash here. They're pretty old. But to be honest, for this portion of the project, you could adhere other brands of gems, pearls, nouveau drops, sequins, whatever you like. Um, there's a lot of options for embellishing this up. So there she is, that's our completed project. So as always, I just wanna say thank you so much for checking out my video today. And just a reminder that you can find links and more information in the description box below. And until next time, I hope you are keeping it crafty. Bye.